Hi there, I just wanted to um, quickly run over my initial implementation of um, Gulp Babel for developing React JSX. I'm at very early stages, but there is a few gotchas that I've come across, but I just wanted to um, show you my um, implementation as I think it might be helpful. Um, essentially, I've got a single root folder at the moment. Um, Let's take a look at the npm configuration package JSON file. Um, I've got Babel preset React and Gulp, Gulp Babel, Gulp Concat, and Gulp Source Maps. Um, the, mini, the minimum you need is Gulp Babel. That turns the JSX into um, JavaScript. Um, of course, you need Gulp. Um, I had to put in these dependencies, however. Um, so there's preset React I needed to install. Um, and if we look at the plugins for Babel, we've got the ES2015, also known as ES Fix, and React. Without React, um, you get syntax error. So if I remove that and go back to my default gulp build we get a syntax error here um, now we get a clearer one a clearer one here that was before I put in part of the um, plugin um, I've just removed them now but um, if we add React, it then runs fine. So just make sure that you've got um, ES6 or ES2015, I mean, and React as your presets. That's the basics you need for your Babel plugin configuration. Um, let's just look at the Gulp file, because that this is the basic default Gulp file. So when I type Gulp, this is running. So basically, we've got two variables, source and disk. I'm going to run my source files, my JSX file. I've got a single piece of JSX taken from the, the um, tutorials on the main website. So this is a form, a form element. This is JSX. And essentially, um, it's kind of a JavaScript XML, if you want to call it that. But let's just call it JSX. Uh, otherwise, it's standard JavaScript, but this is, is obviously um, not JavaScript syntax yet, and that's why we need tools such as Babel to transpile that. And in our case, it's going to get transpiled into gulp.destination, and the destination is this variable disk, which is here. So that transpiles what we've got in our source file here, it gives me this. So this is what is getting run. So if I take another example from something a bit what was failing earlier, that's just take this a little simple piece, put that into my source file. So this is basically an entry point because people are, keep saying that you need Webpack, but Gulp is managing this fine so far. I see absolutely no need for uh, learning a new packaging environment, though no doubt everybody will be using it because it's a new flavor and, and it sounds cooler. But um, there we go. I've just compiled my new, and there we go. So essentially, this is the, the way that you would write React with JavaScript. Babel makes that happen for us in the background, um, and we get to use the funky new JSX syntax. So that's all I wanted to go on about today, um, and that little gotcha about making sure that you have the right plugins, i.e. React, um, and the ES2015. ES2015 is pretty much the baseline, so what ES2015 does on its own is if you wanted to develop ES6 style JavaScript that, that would run in all browsers, that would be the way to, to do it. And I think that's where Babel started life.
because obviously the support for ES6 is not full yet. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Hope you like and share.